Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. No, we um, we both faced uh, a similar problem. For, for whatever reason, we had massive uh, engine overheating and the battery wasn't working properly. And, you know, I made a really good start, got into second, and I was sort of like, here we go. And suddenly I had these big red alarms on my steering wheel and I had no battery left and we had to turn the power down. We were losing about four attempts a lap just in, in power. And um, it was so difficult holding them off. I was surprised we managed to do it for the first 10 laps or so. Uh, I can't even remember now when they overtook, I think, the second stint. Um, and then we just went backwards thereafter. So it's a shame that we didn't get to show any, any real potential of this car. Um, but yeah, a bit of a strange day. Is that a new problem? You hadn't experienced that before? No, no, not at all. Not at all. And it's nothing really to be concerned about. All we needed to do is put slightly bigger bodywork on. Uh, it may have cost us, you know, a quarter of a tenth, but we wouldn't have had to lose four tenths in the engine. So our forecast of the conditions were, were incorrect. Uh, so we need to go around that loop. And ultimately it cost us a lot, but you know, the Red Bulls were well, well out in front. Maybe we could have fought for P3 or at least, you know, given them a fight slightly earlier on. Um, difficult day. It's going to be 30 degrees odd. I mean, it's 34 today in Jeddah, I think. So next week, it's a little less than that. Is that a concern or is that something where you think, right, this is where we need to focus our attention now. We need to look at the cooling in, in Jeddah. No, and... I, I think all, all of the teams have, you know, maybe five or six different cooling specifications. Um, we went with our most aggressive option and clearly just went too, too far so it was it was just simply a decision that we chose the wrong bodywork for the conditions of today uh, we've got plenty of margin to to cool the engine more we just chose chose the wrong one to, uh, today just finally for me that gap to max um, was quite big today to the rest of the field um, your gap to Ferrari if that if that engine if the cooling issue if that's all sorted for next week do you feel you could fight them at least for, for second quickest team yeah, absolutely. We've, we've seen Ferrari have always been strong here in Bahrain, and I'd argue this is a bit of a, a weak circuit for us. Um, yeah, absolutely. I think we'd have been in that fight for P3 had it not been for the, for the cooling issues today. So, you know, you can't ifs and buts, carrots and nuts kind of thing, but... Um, not heard yeah. that before. You've not heard that before. It's ifs and buts and pots and pans, isn't it? No, is it and, that? No. No, ifs and buts, carrots and nuts, is it not? <laughs> no anyway, idea. yeah, okay, so... Um, yesterday we showed the, the true potential of the car. Normally our race pace is faster than qualifying. Today we got it wrong. So, uh, well, first race at 24. Let's see what we can do next week. Right.